Tip number 14. So when looking at all of those outcomes, I think many people are familiar with selecting that final converged solution. So that last iteration within that part. But as people use generative design more and more, they realize that the iterations that are closer to the middle may actually be preferred. So again, when we're generating that part, it will extend 20, 30, 50 iterations. Maybe an iteration in the middle is not just lighter weight and higher performing, but maybe it's also cheaper and more conservative than that fully generated solution. So let's take a look at this. So if we look at this two and a half axis subtractive solution, we're looking at iteration number 21. But what you might also be interested in looking at are the iterations leading up to it. So in this one, it's showing all these different manufacturing settings. It's looking at machining all those pockets and how it would actually interact with that geometry. If we take this one out and we actually look at some other ones, let's take a look at this one for additive. We can see maybe this final converged solution, although it's meeting all the requirements that we set, maybe it's a little too organic or a little too complicated for what we like. Again, you can scale this all the way to the beginning and maybe find something that makes a little more sense for what you're doing. 